happened? What happened? Man, I don't know. I think I got caught in the matrix. <laughs> you know? Man, I, to be honest, I wasn't expecting anybody to be running after me. And then when I peeked back, it seemed like all of them was chasing me. And uh, very, very unfortunate. Uh, but like DA would say, we were in Miller time anyway. So uh, game was over. So, And then I wanted to get Jamal a touchdown, too. So. Yeah. I was, was going to say, 63 came out of nowhere. Like, when he would, like, I didn't know if you, like, he back in your house. He plays hard. Yeah. I should have expected him to be chasing me, right? So, nevertheless, though, I'm glad I got four picks. I was able to tie Debo. So, uh, you know, that, 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 that's a good feeling. You being like, from here, like, being from New Orleans, and obviously you know how big this rivalry is with the Falcons, like, to have a moment like that, like, how special is that for you? Man, to be honest, man, I don't really look at it like that. Um, Man, I'm just happy we won. You know, um, you know whether I made that interception or not. Um, you know, I think the way you know the stadium felt today, um, <clears throat> and the way our offense played, and the, and the way we kind of uh, rallied on defense right after spotting those guys 14 points. Um, like I was good with that. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, obviously, interception is like the icing on the cake, and. Now, obviously, y'all are going to talk about me, and now I got to go home. And my son's going to be talking about me, so uh, I got to deal with that, you know? Is this like a sign of, you know, looking in the mirror, man, I've been in the league 11 years now. It's just, uh, like, yeah, yeah, man, I got, a, I got a lot of miles on my legs, no doubt about it. Um, but I still love it, man. It's still fun, especially making plays like that. What kind of consensus y'all want to get Jamal away with the touchdown? Yeah, 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 we're going to roll with that one. Yeah. What kind of change? I mean, we didn't change anything. Um, <clears throat> I think, uh, you know, early on we, you know, we dropped the coverage, um, you know, for 50, 60 yards. And, uh, you know, I think the next series, you know, Lante's right there. You know, he could bat the ball down, pick it off. He missed him. And then I, and I missed the tackle, right? So uh, you take those two plays away. Um, you know, I think for the most part we were making those guys, you know, at least try to earn it. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, we learn from that. We grow from it. Um, but yeah, I'm proud of the way we kind of responded and bounced back. Uh, definitely proud of the way the D-line played today um, and, and, and the linebackers. Um, I thought they played really well today. How do you feel about the way the team closed out the season? Four I mean, that's cool, man. Um, I mean, obviously, you, you know, you would want to have done that, you know, much earlier um, and, and not really been in a situation. But you know, I think given the circumstances and, you know, just all the adversity that we kind of had to push through, um, like we never we never gave up you know we never wavered um guys stepped up made plays um and, and i think that's really all you can ask for you know were you curious about the Tampa result as the game was going on or? not really i was man the way we started the day i was just trying i was just trying to beat the falcons you know uh wasn't necessarily worrying about you know what tampa bay um was doing um obviously you know they won and so um you know it's unfortunate we Kind of have to wait and see, you know, what other teams do. Um, and hopefully we can learn from this, right? Um, you know, it feels like two years in a row kind of, you know, playing that wait and see game. Um, so hopefully, you know, we can uh, use that as motivation, you know, going forward and, you know, really not put ourselves in this type of situation. What's the plan for the next couple of hours? You know, you sent up a few prayers. Uh, you know, everybody cross their fingers. Uh, you know, you hope for the best. Um, but nevertheless, um, you know, even if we don't get in, obviously it'll be very, very disappointing. But um, to to have that showing that we had today, you know, in the last game, you know, in front of our fans, um, you know, hope, hoping that that leaves a, a good taste in their mouth and, and they can be, um, you know, motivated and encouraged, you know, going into next season. But uh, like I said, man, fingers crossed, hoping that, you know, we still playing. I know that most of the, the veterans are, are good about, you know, trying to block out the noise and all that. But obviously it's hard not to hear all the, you know, speculation around VA, possibly, you know, jobs and all that. How do you feel like he responded <coughs> at the end of the season with you guys and, and just the, how you guys were able to kind of, like, in a sense, make the probably rally around him and, and, and finish the way he got to do? Yeah, man. <clears throat> uh, man, he stepped up big time for us. Um, you know, I think as the season went on, uh, you know, we, we wanted to play much, much harder for him, you know. And so uh, and he's a good dude, man. Like, uh, you know, he's a great coach. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, I think he's one of those guys that you really want to see him do well and you want to see him have success. Um, because for him, man, uh, <clears throat> I think he wants to see us do well and succeed and, you know, take care of our family. So 
Um, we don't. I don't really worry about that. You know, I think in my mind, you know, you know he's a coach. You know, for the New Orleans Saints, and uh, I don't think we really kind of you know worry about you know what people are saying. Appreciate it. Thanks. Appreciate it.